description that what XML is. And now we have a brief idea of what XML is all about. So we'll proceed further and let's see what XML DTD is and why is it really important of DTD and what really important part it plays in case of XML documents. DTD, it stands for Document Type Definition. DTT. DTD is actually used to display the structure and to provide some additional attributes to our XML documents. And more importantly, it emphasizes over that how this markup language, since XML itself is a markup language, so how it can be used to provide some additional attributes to the XML file. Well, the DTD is further classified into internal DTD and external DTD. Internal DTD. In internal DTD, the main thing is that our DTD file, it is declared in our XML, uh, XML document inside the doc type declaration. While in case of external DTD, we create an external DTD file which is synced up with the XML document and then it is used. Let's see what actual implementation is. So let's take a small example. For example, I'm taking a case of a meeting where I, where the important thing is that when it is taking on, I mean with, on which date, other thing is at which place and when and what's the main agenda and what's it, what's it all about. So let's make this document in XML. It will start with in case of internal DTD, how we make, how we implement this example? We start with XML version equal to 1.0. This defines which version of XML we are using. Then, doc type. And I'm taking the example of a meeting. So I'll write meeting. Start with the square brackets. In, and what we are emphasizing is that when this meeting is on, at which destination, and what it's all about. So how we implement this in XML DTD? It will start with element and since our first element is about on which date so element load our three agendas on at about close this then start with element on then element element about after declaring our three main these things we close this bracket followed by this and it's 
it's really important that whatever brackets are being uh, once started, they should be enclosed properly. After this, what we start is since it's a internal DTT, so at this DTT document is all declared inside the doc type. Further, we'll start with meeting. Then on, like the meeting is on Monday, close this all tab. We have also started that in XML, there is no rule of predefined tabs. So we are using the tabs which we have already declared and then we are using. So these are user friendly tabs. Followed by add. Suppose this meeting is taking place at Delhi. Then it's about. And since the main agenda for conducting this meeting is about business strategies. Then close this about. Ultimately, close your meeting tab. Well, this is about the declaration in internal DTT. Now, let's uh, understand the same concept in external DTT. What we'll do is, I'll write my XML version, which is 1.0. Then I'll start with doc type, meeting, and I've already explained that in external DTD, we create an external DTD file which is synced with the XML document. Then what we'll write is note about and we'll write it meeting dot dtd where this meeting dot dtd is our external file where, where we'll declare all our dtd files. Now we'll start meeting on at about on Monday at Delhi about strategies and close this about tab and ultimately your meeting tab. Well, it's not that our work is just completed till here. Since we have declared this file, so we need to write our content in this file too. So our meeting.dtd file will comprise of like in internal DTD we have declared certain things just after doc type that all things will be declared itself in this external file which will consist of element load